What's going on everyone? Spidey Suds has finally showed up. I ordered it on, well, the date came out, so November 4th, and it is finally here. It is now the 11th, I think, or 12th, I don't know. Anyway, Spidey Suds is here, so I can finally do a review. Um, I haven't heard too much, but from what I have heard, it smells like a, kind of like a berry scent. So, I'm uh, definitely excited to try this out. This is this would be basically the first berry scented bar from Dr. Squatch. Sudsy Bear has their blueberry bar. They also have one with cherry, another one with raspberry. A few other brands are doing some with like cranberry and blueberry and different berry scents. So, glad to see that Dr. Squatch is just doing something nice and basic. The packaging is really cool, and I think my favorite thing about the packaging is um, on the back of it, right here where they have the ingredients and everything, it's like comic book format. I'm not really a big comic book guy, but it still looks pretty cool. So, nice to see this Marvel addition to the Dr. Squatch universe. So let's see what we have here. When I first saw the featured ingredient, which is red spiderling, I got nervous for a minute. I thought they actually had some spiders in there, but no, that's just a type of plant. So let's see what we got here. We have saponified oils as usual, shea butter number two. Okay, so here we have a repeat thing. Our third ingredient is natural fragrance. Now it is natural fragrance as opposed to artificial fragrance, which is good. But Dr. Squatch Whaley has been getting their fragrance from, like the bar, the scent for the bar has just been coming from fragrance they've been putting in here, as opposed to the ingredients that make up the bar, which is not horrible, but it's not like the what they used to have, you know, the pine tar bar got its scent from pine oil and orange oil and actual pine tar stuff like that so they're kind of straying away from that but regardless let's keep going here so we also have red spiderling as the fourth ingredient which is again a type of plant was well, actually red spiderling powder and then we have vegan silk extract i'm not exactly sure what vegan silk extract is if you remember any of my videos from saint sivion they use silk in their, they use some kind of silk extract in their bars. And I told you, it's like, it is definitely the silkiest lather. That's part of the reason their bars are like three and a half ounces, four ounces, and it's like $12 a bar. But anyway, we have vegan silk extract. So I'm hoping that the lather here is, is pretty silky. We have blue poppy seeds. That's where you're going to get your medium grit which is what this bar is right here, medium grit. So that's from the blue poppy seeds. We have mica, kaolin clay, and sea salt. So not too many ingredients, which is good, pretty simple. Let's just pop it open and see what it smells like. Here we have web slinger. All right, so we got our classic blue and red color for Spider-Man. There we go. It's a good looking bar. All right. Those of you that have watched my past few videos from Dr. Squatch, you know, I wasn't super impressed with Werewolf Wash. Although after using it a few times, I do like it a little bit better, uh, but it definitely has like a Coca-Cola scent to it. I did not love the summer citrus. It just smelled like very chemical like um and then i'm trying to think oh i didn't i well i didn't like the star wars ones very much the new star wars scents i thought they smelled like a lot like laundry soap i haven't loved a dr squatch bar since i think crypto cleanse came out and that one was a surprise but i loved crypto crypto cleanse and i thought i wouldn't love it but crypto cleanse was amazing so i'm hoping for a good one here I know I already, I already smelled it, but 
So the fragrance here is like natural fragrance. That's where we're getting the scent from. For some reason though, I almost feel like I can smell some of the poppy seeds. I do eat a lot of everything bagels and I can almost smell the, the poppy seeds in here, I feel like. I definitely can. I can definitely smell poppy seeds, which is a little weird. As far as the fragrance goes, I don't think a lot of you guys will like this as much as Werewolf Wash. But it doesn't, like, have a bad scent. It's not very strong. It kind of has, like, a... Like, a blueberry... Blueberry, maybe a little bit of raspberry in there. And it's a little bit less fruity, and it's a little more of a, a cologne. But it's not very strong. I actually wouldn't mind if this bar was a little stronger. I was expecting it to be, with fragrance being like the third ingredient. It's a good bar though. I like it. It's not going to be in my bottom. It's not going to be in my bottom 10 or anything. It's a good bar. I heard a couple people say it smelled like Freedom Fresh. I would have to disagree. The only thing that's similar between this and Freedom Fresh is it's a very weak scent. But it doesn't really smell similar, it's just very weak. Uh, I would probably rank this in the same vicinity as Freedom Fresh though. Because I don't think Freedom Fresh is a bad bar, it's also just not very strong. So this will probably end up being somewhere middle of the pack for me, but I I do like this bar a lot. It's nowhere near the quality of a raspberries and cream or blueberries and cream from Sudsy Bear, but I do like this bar, and it's worth getting. I just w I hope you guys get a stronger bar than this because this is just it's just not strong. Even the cardboard doesn't. Like, you don't really smell much, you just smell cardboard, so that's kind of strange. But, it's still a cool bar, uh, nonetheless. So, to make this just a little bit more exciting, let me know in the comments who your your favorite Spider-Man is. Is it the original Tobey Maguire? Is it the amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield? Or is it the new Marvel Tom Holland? I would have to say, for me... It's gotta be, it's gotta be Tobey Maguire. As far as the best, he's the best Peter Parker at least. I like Andrew Garfield as Spider Man, but Peter, you know, Peter Parker is the best played as, or by Tobey Maguire, I should say. Um, I used to strongly dislike Tom Holland Spider Man. I did not like Spider Man Homecoming, but then watching. Far From Home and No Way Home, I actually think it's he's pretty good, too. So, they're all really decent, but I'll go with the original, the original trilogy. Here it is one more time. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.